Hey, with the new guest feature, we have unlocked true external collaboration in Fibery, and I would like to showcase two most popular cases, collaborating with clients and freelancers. So we'll have two windows, one on the left for the admin and for the right for an external collaborator. So what do I have here? Here I have a simple space um, with the following structure. Clients, the projects and tasks inside those projects. Pretty straightforward. And this is where my team works. Right, so they have the breakdown across all clients. They can see all the work in the same place. That's awesome. Now, how do we invite a client to collaborate? Obviously, they shouldn't see projects or even names of other clients or users associated with those clients. So how do we accomplish that? Well, we'll do it in several steps. The first step would be to create a an access template, allowing us to share not just a single entity, not just like zero spark or maybe a specific project Ethernet. No, we would like to share the whole hierarchy with them, right? So if I have a client from Xerox Spark. I want them to see all their projects, all their tasks automatically. No need to share each entity manually. So let's go create a custom access template. We'll do it on the client level, on the highest level of uh, hierarchy. Let's create a new one. We'll call it a client manager template. It's going to be just read on the client page. They don't need anything here. So for projects, it's read and comment. And for tasks, it's going to be everything allowed. Okay, we can add this template. So now it's available. If we go to any client in our share pop up, here's our template. And we can see that the access is automatically extended. Now comes the usability part of it. So if I invite client, yes, they will receive an email here and they will have shared with me, but it's not really a great user experience for them. And we would like to make it better, obviously. So how do we do that? Well, my suggestion would be to use smart sections. So first of all, we create a smart folder. Uh, by clients, so we slice the work by clients and we create some context views here. So I would like to basically replicate what we have here, work breakdown and task support, but then sliced by clients. So we'll create a list with projects and inside them tasks. I won't add any columns here just for the simplicity's sake, let's call it work breakdown. And we'll create a board with tasks by state. And we would like to see project. So basically the same thing that we have here, but you can see as this is a context view inside an entity inside a smart folder, we have this magical context filter applied. So here we have the tasks only for Xerox Spark. Now we would like to have these views for all the clients. So let's mirror both views. And you see they appear here. And the structure is the same, but the filters are unique. Okay. Now our client won't have access to the space itself. So instead, we turn the smart folder into a smart section and it appears here outside of space. So now if you have access to one of those entities or multiple entities, you will see them in your sidebar. Let's rename it to clients and we are ready to share. So share here, I just type their email. Okay, apply our newly created template and send invite and they should receive an email shortly and we will see how it looks for them. 
here's the email okay let's go to our sharing paradise okay they will need to authenticate here we go and this is how workspace looks like for them oh, yes they see the entity itself some relation views here but also if they expand they see the work breakdown and their task board and they don't see anything else right they don't see other clients like our admin does they don't see any spaces and if they search hard enough they won't find users other guests users associated with other clients so we can do the same thing for uh, managers from MIT Media Lab and Bell Labs and we're good to go with clients. Now with freelancers, it's pretty much the same story. We use a smart section, albeit a different one, to make the sidebar useful to them and navigation intuitive. So we create a smart folder. It doesn't matter in which space, it's just a temporary um, step for us. So we create the smart folder first, as previous time it doesn't matter in which space because it's just a temporary step but this time it's smart folder by users and here what I would like to do is to have a board with tasks by state as simple as that we'll call it my tasks and the filter applies automatically so if people are assigned to something we will see that they see something now let's turn it into a smart section. It's going to be freelancers. So far it's all users, but we'll filter them out soon. Now let's add project here, perhaps even client, because a freelancer can work across clients. All right, that's good. Uh, now let's go and share a few things with our freelancer. So let it be uh, this task. And here we don't need any fancy template. We'll just use the default editor. And we'll use this task as an example. Okay, now we see our user appears here. Um, what we can do is just to create a single select with their, with the type of users. So we can have employee, client and freelancer. and we can filter unnecessary people out here. So it's gonna be just freelancers. Now, in addition to sharing, we don't forget to actually assign them. And now everything is set and let's see how it looks like for the freelancer. All right, so they see the exact task and if they open my task is going to be just a regular board as perhaps they would be familiar with from Trello or other simple tools. So this is a short overview of how you can make Fiber workspace work for external people. There is not a single way as usual on how to set this up. This is just one way and I hope it proves useful in your scenario. If you have any questions, please reach out to us via chat. Thank you.